Let's balance the equation Fe plus H2O gives us Fe2O3 plus H2. We have iron metal, water, this iron 3 oxide, and hydrogen gas. I'm not sure if this reaction actually takes place. There are some other reactions listed at the end of this video that might be more likely. But if you're asked to balance the equation, here's how you do it. We have one iron, and we have two hydrogens, one oxygen. Product side, we have two irons, two hydrogens, and then three oxygen atoms. For this particular equation, we have iron by itself. That means if we change the coefficient, it won't change the numbers of hydrogens or oxygens. So we want to leave this to last. And here we only have hydrogen atoms. Again, if we change the coefficient, that won't change the number of irons or oxygens. So I'm going to start with oxygen. I think I'm going to put a 3 in front of the H2O. Because 1 times 3, that'll give me 3. And now 2 times 3, that'll give me 6 of these hydrogens. But that's not a problem, because I could put a 3 here. 2 times 3, that gives us 6, doesn't change anything else. And then a 2 is our coefficient in front of the iron. 1 times 2, that'll give us 2. We're done. This equation is balanced. So when you have something like iron, this is just Fe by itself, or only this one type of atom. Hydrogen atoms, leave those to last when you balance equations. If you wanted to write the states, they look like this. Again, I don't see this reaction quite often. I see other reactions, and they're listed at the end of the video if you want to take a look at those. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.